rush him. But the Heavenly Father said, look, I'm against you. So the Heavenly Father is against the Russian. Even though he played, he got their mind on the string and he, and he turned them wherever he wanted to go. He got their mind. But he's saying, look, you Russians, I'm against you. Go ahead. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. So Russia, going back to that old Soviet USSR power. So they up now, they strong. Now, Russia military is stronger than America. And, contrary to population, and when you Google what country has the most resources in the world, Russia gonna pop up. America number two. Okay? Fact check. I was already told the end of but the world. I'm, I'm, I'm saying these okay. things for a reason. Okay? Now, fact check. Look at that, look at that. Fact check. That's Google. So they up. They number one in the world of resources. So, Trump going to blood in my pool. Well, we're gonna, we gonna take you off of, uh, we're gonna take you off the of site. All right. Yeah. I was up. Yeah. Look, hold on. Whatever. Yeah. We win it in Ukraine. But we go, we go on. If you don't, if you don't stop what you're doing, we're gonna put more sanctions on you. Whatever. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. stop, we're gonna stop your bank from doing business. Whatever. Because you already, you already, we are already not using the American dollar. We didn't go in another direction. That's why we got the BRICS. You think you got Russia, China, Brazil, India, South Africa. And then you got other ones. Iran is in there now. Yeah. Okay? But I'm paying, I'm paying all this to show you America got no leverage. Yeah. I, I can wrap all this up for you as far as I'm concerned. I was already told the end of the world, like you just said, is going to center a focus on Israel. Donald Trump, the Lebanese, all that, you just got to talk about the, the lineage behind who's got what to help Trump get in the office. It's all going to boil down to Israel. It's Whatever all going to boil down. To, to it, but not, that's what I was already told. It's all, all going to boil down to that land over there. And, and what's going on? Israel's going to be a major player in which way the world goes. It's going to be a major player. And guess what's going to happen to Israel, that land over and the people over there? So you, They're going to get burnt. Donald Trump is already a part of this. Now, which side he lands on, he's, he's got the to heavenly go. Father got him on the streets. Yeah, he's the ultimate puppet master. Okay, he's the ultimate puppet master. The heavenly Father got him on the streets and that nation of Edomites. And when you read the Bible, the heavenly Father hate Edomites. When you read yeah. Romans the ninth chapter, he hate Esau. Hate him. He got a strong dislike for Esau. Then that's what Donald Trump is. He's an Edomite. This is the man that's talking about go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This man is talking about he wants to be a dictator. Oh, he can be that. He can be what yeah. he wanna be. But well, guess what? But guess what? Destroying the world, but he like you said, it's all up to what uh, Bingo! Yeah. Bingo! So I want to change his battery before he go dead on me. But go ahead, bro. This is uh Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Who is Jacob? Tell him, brother. Go ahead. It says, but Esau have I hated. Who is Esau? Say it at night. The Republican playbook, okay. You see, you <laughs> just said it at night. That's where he got, that's where he got make America great again from. Ronald Reagan. He wants to ship everybody back that ain't America. Now, blah, you blah, say you've been to, one more time, time. Bro. Uh, one more time. You say you've been to Germany yeah. at what year? 1984. Now, tell me this. The white women over there in Germany, what they think about the so-called African-American man? The Germans are the white women. The white women over there in Germany. I didn't pay no attention to them. The German women, some of them were after the African-Americans. Yeah. Trying to get back to the States. I, 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 I just wanted to hear you he, say he that. Threw the white I just wanted to hear you say that. Hey, 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 don't go nowhere. Stay over here. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. I came to see you. OK, uh, go ahead and speak on what you were saying. German, German women and affection, not all of them. Some of them have a friend for American soldiers, black or white or whatever. 
Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but uh, on the other hand, they had been to the states. They were looking for a way back to the states. Now I'm gonna ask you this: Do you think they still got that mindset state today in 2024? Like, yes, I can't compensate on what's going on now. I suppose you got the internet. Back you got the internet. I, 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 I tracked it. I wanted to go back over there, but the way it's going now, do days of travel. Germany, anywhere. Germany economy is in a free fall right now. Okay, then it's in a free fall. Yeah. Now, I don't want to cut you off. I want, I want you to stay here. And what we talk about, Asher, is Donald Trump and everything that's going on. So what you got for me? What you got for me? Hit me with it. What you got for me? I, I, I wanted to know what, what you guys think about it. About what? Donald Trump? Yes, yeah. You know he's gonna be with Israel. You know that. You know that. Did he make did he make uh Jerusalem the capital? Yes. Did I tell you how to get hurt? So you know So you know Benjamin Benjamin Netanyahu and Donald Trump are good friends. Right? Hey, carry on, carry on, young lady. Carry on, carry on, young lady. Carry on, y'all. Uh, we, we doing something right uh, now. Please, please uh, carry on. Please carry on. Right. Have a good day. Have uh, a good day. Have a good day. Please, baby. Hey, now, now, uh, Donald Trump, yeah. Donald yeah. Trump yeah. and Benjamin yeah. Netanyahu yeah. are good friends, right? Yeah. Come on, Ashley. Come on, tell the truth. They have some differences, but mostly. Everybody got differences. Who, who, who are you for? You hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let Let Ashley deal. Okay? Now. Yes. Uh, Ivanka Trump. Ivanka? Yes. She's married to who? I, you know I know. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see how you see how you do me. Who he married to? Say it! You know, you know how you do it. Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner. What is his nationality? What's his nationality? He's American. That's come on, come on, yes, come on, man. Nationality. What's his nationality? You mean his ethnicity. What is it? So, He's more observant than I am. So, my thing is, is was uh, Jared Kushner, uh, did he have anything to do with the Abraham Accord? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, you asking me, what, what do I think yeah. concerning yeah. the situation yeah. with Donald Trump being the president? He gone. He gonna, he gonna be on the side of Israel, and he gonna go out to Iran. Because before- Do you, do you guys like Israel? Huh? Do you guys like Israel? What do you mean do we like Israel? What do you mean, what do you mean? Be more specific. Do you like- How about that? Come on, man, stick around! We, this, 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 this. Unless you really gotta go. Unless you really gotta go. How much are you guys gonna We out here, we out here, man, we out here. We out here. You guys leave at some point, don't you? Yeah, we gotta go home, man. Yeah, right. We don't know. <laughs> Hey, but all right, all right, my man, take it easy, man. All right, all right, all right. All right. What you, what you, what are you finna say? But how do you all feel about this room? What about it? Well, Is the landmass or the people in it? Exactly. You may, you may like the landmass. You may want the landmass for yourselves. For what? For what? For, for what? For yourselves. For yourselves. That's right. What the people in it, right? What about it? It's a, no, it's a mixture over there. It's the, a mixture over there. The government. You got Arabs, you, know, you got Africans over there, uh, you got so-called white people over there. It's a mixture over there. It's, it's mostly, a melting pot. It's mostly, it's, like America. it's mostly people like me. It's a melting pot. Just uh, like America. You got different mostly, nationalities over there. It's mostly people like me. Who's in the Knesset? Jewish, Jewish people. And who else? Don't you sit you, there and make you, nothing you up. Arab, Arab. Uh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, okay, you, okay. You, so you got, do you like got, do you got, do you got philosophy and Jews over there? What? Falashian Jew. Falashian Jew. Falashian, I Yeah, know. Ethiopian. Uh, maybe, maybe some. I don't know. It's a, it's a mixture of people okay, over there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you so, understand? So you, you support the, the nation of Israel? Listen, we want the land. You want the land? We want the land. I see. I see. Okay, the people, the people that's in Israel, the masses of them that's in there, they don't belong there. Okay. Who belongs in Israel? Or Negro Latinos and Native Americans. I see, guys. That's who Native belongs. Americans, too? Yes, so I sir. Didn't know that yes, sir. Part of your, your, yes, sir. The Native Americans. Yes, Native sir. Americans. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, like everybody is looking on the news and saying what's going to take place with Donald Trump when he gets in. Donald Trump will put tariffs on everybody and he's going to go out and be great. Right? Because
up before he left office, it was a trade war against China, and he was putting tariffs on Europe. Okay? And with the situation with Russia, Vladimir Putin congratulated Donald Trump, okay, for him being president. But as we was reading in Ezekiel 38, Vladimir Putin and the Russians not going to agree with America. Even though they're going to talk, you know, time will tell, but they're not going to agree with America. And what's going on with that war, it's just going to spread, man. It's going to get worse. Hamas is not... Uh, Hamas just bombed a, a Hassad uh, uh, facility in Tel Aviv. They just did that. And who backs uh, Hezbollah? Uh, Hezbollah, Iran, just, Iran, Iran. Hezbollah just bombed a Mossad intelligence facility in Tel Aviv. And maybe on the, out, on the outskirts of Tel Aviv. Not in the city where all the people are, but on the outskirts of it. Okay? They just did that. Okay? So that war is going to spread, man. It's nothing that is... You want that, right? Of course! Of course. Why wouldn't I? Of course, because I want it, I want it. Well, even I, if the Israeli state is destroyed, I don't think the result is going to be that, that, that uh, African Americans and, and Native Americans will just move in. And that's your over. opinion. That's your opinion. I mean, I mean a lot is of that your, have to happen. Is that, are you coming from a biblical perspective, or is that your opinion? I mean, if the Israeli state were somehow destroyed. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Are you coming from a biblical No, I'm not. Perspective? No. You see, give me uh, give me some rock. Uh, hold what you got. Give me some rock. Uh, three and twenty-four. That's your opinion. Well, if somehow Iran destroyed Israel. Then I imagine that uh, it's gonna be built back up. Our our people would. would they gonna be blown out of there. They'll be blown out. Yes. When this war, when this, when but, uh, Iran is just gonna hand it over to you. We go, we go. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Man. Who the world ignorantly called Jesus? What? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus? Jesus. When he comes back, he is the one that's gonna take down these nations that have military power. Oh. See, I can't do nothing. I'm just like you. I'm just trying to live. You see. I ain't got the power to take down nobody, okay? The Heavenly Father's Son is going to do all this, okay? Which it tells you that in the Bible. Give me some rock 3 and 24. This is, uh, this is some rock. Yeah, this is, this is, this is an apostle. And when you, when you get the 1611 Bible, when you get the 1611 Bible, it's in there. Okay. You, you ain't got to get it. They right. can, they can, everybody can research. That's why you got to go. Go ahead. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3, verse 24. It says, For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Your opinion. You've been deceived. Okay. That's why I ask you that. Is that your opinion? Or are you dealing with biblical facts? That's your opinion. Many have been, been deceived with their own vain opinion. So that's your opinion, okay, that we not gonna get put back in that lane. That's your opinion. That's not biblical fact. Go ahead. And an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Your judgment is overthrown because you don't understand the scriptures like that. Okay? We do. So, going back, that's it on that. Going back to Ezekiel 38 concerning uh, Russia in America. Now, you just had Joe Biden dump uh, billions of dollars to Ukraine before uh, 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 Donald Trump in the office. Hey, I'm going to ask you, do you know who, uh, before I say this, do you know who Donald Trump other daughter is married to? Tiffany? Oh, Tiffany. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't actually Michael, remember. She's married to Michael. Like, yeah, like uh, who Yeah. Okay. You know who that is? No. I'm his sure father's a billionaire. Yeah. Okay. He's a, his father, he's, he's a Lebanese billionaire. Mm. Now, you and I know the Lebanese 
going to have interest in that land, okay? He's going to. And just like we was talking concerning him going after uh, Iran and him talking to Russia about Ukraine, everybody talking about that. Now, in Ezekiel 38, matter of fact, read it real quick, because I got a point I want to get to. All right, this is the book. Man, why these lights ain't came on there? That's it. I remember that. What's wrong yeah, with that light? Man, but go ahead, bro. Uh, so I mean, they're probably set on the time since the time. You know what I'm saying? They're probably set on a certain time. But now it's getting dark darker. Out here. Yeah, it's getting darker. Yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Go ahead, bro. This is uh the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38. This is uh verse three. I say thus, so like it, and say thus said the Lord God, behold, I am against thee, O God the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Meshach and Tubal is Turkey. God is uh, Russia. Go ahead. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Now, that's Russia going back to his USSR power, the military might. So Russia is strong concerning military and the Heavenly Father is controlling the Russia. Okay, go ahead. And I will bring thee forth mm -hmm. and all thine army, mm -hmm. horses and all horsemen, mm -hmm. all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, mm -hmm. even a great company with but butlers and shields. That's Russian military with their military hard work. Go ahead. All of them hanging, it's so like a handling swords. Go ahead. Persia. Okay, Persia. That's Iran. Okay. Go ahead. Ethiopia. Go ahead. And Libya. Go ahead. Them Africans. Go ahead. With them. So they're going to be with Russia. Go ahead. All and, of them. And them Russians, I was just watching a uh, a speech concerning Sergei Lodgrov, and he was explaining how the United States have destroyed Libya. You see? So the Russians is going to be okay dealing with them africans and them africans are going to be dealing with russia now if you look up a map in africa and say how much 
saying to Google how much influence does Russia have in Africa, it a map a map will come up and it'll show you where the Russians got influence in. But the ones who got the most influence in Africa is the Chinese. Go ahead. It says all of them with shields and helmets. Go ahead. It says Gumar. Go ahead. And all his bands. Go ahead. The house of Togar. Togomar. Togomar. Go ahead. Of the north quarters. Go ahead. And all his bands. That's Turkey. Go ahead. And many people with thee. Go ahead. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. So. Can you just tell me what you're predicting is going to happen? Well, the reason why I'm reading this, because this is Bible prophecy. Now, you got Erdogan. Right? Which is Turkish president. Yes. Right? Well, bingo, go. bingo, go. that's what I want. Now you got Erdogan, which is the Turkish president. Now, uh, Israel gets its oil through Turkey. Okay? And let me see. Let me look at the map. Let me look at the map. It's over there. Let's see what we got, uh, Asher. We got, what is it? Azure Is that a is that a country? Is that a Huh? Is, is it Rajania? Yeah, that's like that's like close to uh, Iran. It's a northern part of Iran, and uh, Israel gets its oil from Azerbaijan, oh, really? and they Turkish. Oh, okay. Okay. They got a pipeline that goes through there. Okay. Now Turkey is gonna end up being with the Russians, but if you cut the oil off from Azerbaijan, right, which comes from. Uh, from Azerbaijan and it goes through Turkey and it goes down into Israel, Israel gonna be in trouble because they need that oil, okay? For war, you need oil for war, okay? But in this, in the Bible, uh, uh, Meshach and Tubal is Turkey and Russia the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, meaning the leader of Meshach and Tubal and Turkey gonna end up being with uh, Russia. But right now, Turkey is on the fence, okay? They want to join BRICS and they with NATO. Mm. See, they on the fence right now. So you believe that Russia is going to cut Israel's oil off? No, no. no. What, I'm, what I believe is, according to the Bible, Turkey is going to turn on Israel and it's going to turn on America, NATO. Okay? That's what I believe, according to the Bible. Go ahead. It says, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself thou and are thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thou a guard unto them. Be thou a guard unto them. So it mentioned Persia. Russia is going to be a guard unto Iran. So Vladimir Putin said himself that uh, he not going to let Iran get destroyed. Now America and Israel want to go out to Iran. No doubt about it. Okay. Now, little do people know that Iran uh, and Russia got uh, a, a, a treaty that they working on. Oh, okay. You know about that? No, no, I don't. No. I'm gonna let you see it. I'm gonna let you see okay, it. Fine. Hold on, hold on. Let me let you listen. Let me let you see it. It's a comprehensive. Let me let you see it. Let me let you see. Uh, but I, I, I see where you're going. The, the Russians will come to Iran's defense. And, right. Uh, Russia. Hold on. Let me, and let me. then there will be some. Russia war, and Iran have a comprehensive. Uh, there you go. There, there, there you go. 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 Yeah, I see. I see. see? Yes, yeah, I see. see. I see. I see. You see. see? Yeah, that's, so. That's real so. So. Things are happening. Things are happening, right? Yeah. On the chessboard that wasn't so obvious before. Okay? Now you got Donald Trump is in office. And when he left office, these things were not going on. Okay? You didn't have a war in Ukraine and Russia doing what they're doing, and you didn't have the situation in Israel increase like it is. That's that's true. Right. You see? So he's coming into office with Russia uh, with a war uh, economy, okay? With a war economy, okay? And he's coming into office with Israel 
and we come in the office with Iran is being more and more hostile towards Israel. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So this was on his plate. Yes. But when you read in the Bible, it's telling you that Russia is going to be a guard onto Iran. You see? Even though you got a lot of Russian Jews in Israel, Vladimir Putin have told them, look, go ahead and leave because of the condition. Okay? But the S-300 missile defense system, I don't know if they got an S-400, but you got Russian soldiers over there in uh, Iran with those missile defense systems. Now Iran got the now you got the now you got the uh now you got the uh you got the uh Iron Dome over there in Israel, right? Yes. You got the Thad, yeah. you got the David Sling, yeah. okay? That's a lot. And you got the uh what's the, the the Iron Dome, okay? You got those things, but like we was discussing in past times concerning what Iran did striking Israel. It's all on the internet. Can't deny it. Right? And you had French, British, and American military, maybe others too, helping Israel uh, destroy those uh, missiles that Iran shot. Okay? To Israel. Now, Israel retaliated, even though they killed some of their leaders, Hamas and all, I mean, Hamas and Hezbollah and their ambassadors and all that, and Soleimani and generals and all that, even though Israel did that. So they finally struck Iran. Now, not a lot of information on video, but you got people that's talking and saying, yeah, they destroyed this, they destroyed this, but it's not a lot of information concerning videos, okay? Now, Iran got their own domestic defense system. Okay? Contrary to public belief, the reason why and they the don't... The stories were that in the last strike, Israel damaged some of those Yeah, but see, the thing about it is, Asher, when you watch the news, they'll mention David Sling. They'll mention the Iron Dome. They'll mention the Arrow of Israel. They'll mention the Thad. But they don't mention Iran stuff because they want you to think Iran is backwards and slow and they don't have the technology like that, okay? And they weak, which is not so, okay? Even, uh, uh, Israel was flying F-35 jets, okay? And that's one of the top jets of America and it's stealth, okay? Now, Iran got a system called the uh, Cordae, okay? They got a system called the Cordae, uh, Cordae Air Defense System. And that Cordae Air Defense System is able to track stealth, okay? And they also have a rod uh, one and two missile defense system, not R-O-D, you don't spell it like that. You spell it R A. A D. That's how you spell it. Okay? And you got the Cordad, which is which is K-H-O-R-D-A-D, air defense system. Okay? You got that. So that's two. And also you got a a, a tub ass uh air defense system. Okay? Those are, are Iran missile defense system. And you also got uh uh, uh, a Sayar, the Sayar missile defense system. So you think they can't be taken out because they have no, these no, no. air defense systems? No, no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, comparing the internet footage and looking what's going on, you see the missiles over there. You, know, you see on the, on the, on the, uh, on the web, everybody got cameras. Everybody got cameras. It's, 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 it's very hard to hide explosions. Because everybody got cameras these days. 
okay? People will take pictures of you just walking down the street because they just like that. You know what I'm saying? You're minding your business with an umbrella, they stop pictures of you, and you look at them like they next. Okay, but people are weirdos like that. But I said that to say this, people see explosions, they gonna snap pictures and it's gonna be on, on the web like this, boom. So when Israel say that they did this and they did this, people on the web looking for the explosion. Now, when you look at the news. They hit Iranian military installations. I understand that, 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 that. Iran, Iran admitted that. Yeah. They admitted that, they, admit, right. they admitted right. That four people, they admitted that four people got killed. They admitted that. Okay? They admitted that. Okay? But what I'm saying and is... they haven't struck back because they're afraid. No, no. They wait. You got to remember, wait. Iran is patient. They're patient. They're patient. See, everybody, everybody don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You see, all you're doing is getting information where you can get it. Okay? But I named those missile defense systems to show you that Iran got defensive capabilities there. And they got hypersonic missiles. Now, America just tested a hypersonic missile. Okay? They, 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 it's called the Dark Eagle. So they just tested it. I don't know how accurate it is, I don't know how good it is. But China, Russia, and uh, Iran, they got hypersonic missiles. Okay, already. But, I said that to say this, concerning Ezekiel 38, them Russians are going to protect them Iranians. And the Iranians already got uh, hypersonic missiles and missile defense systems that can detour Israel and America. And all that weaponry that Iran got, it wasn't for, it wasn't for Israel. It was to fight America, okay? All them military, all the military hardware and defense system is for America, it's not for Israel. Because Iran always knew that America was gonna go after them. You see? I think nobody can deter us if we really want to. Well, to, we gonna to find take out. out we Iranian gonna we gonna regime. find out. We gonna find out according to Bible you know, prophecy. Just, just but but we gotta China, see how it play China, out. Taiwan we gotta see how it play out. China. Huh? China. If China wants to go into Taiwan, they. Taiwan. But Taiwan, Taiwan is their land. But we've given the billions and billions but of Taiwan dollars. But Taiwan is their land, though. Taiwan is their, I, yeah. and when you look at Taiwan and well, you, you really do it. some you research. You have to do an amphibious invasion to get there. Man, do but you. But if China really wants to, and if we don't respond ourselves, they can Taiwan, take Taiwan. Well, yes, yeah, they can take it. They can take it. And then, and then on top of that, for, for America to go far east, the way they're going to go far east in their water, they send ducks. To, to try to help Israel, they send ducks. They well, send ducks in the water. Well, I wish you good luck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let's continue reading, bro. All right. It says, uh, all right. It says uh, Ezekiel chapter thirty-eight, verse eight. It says, After many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years thou shalt come into the land. Oh, go jump back up. I'll okay. jump back up because I want to go to the far. The word it says the evil thought shall come into uh, our mind. See if you can find that part. And if you pass it, uh, go back up and read it. But if you didn't, read it again until you get to it. I haven't read it. You haven't read it yet? Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Start where you left off because I want to make sure that part come out. The evil thought. Whenever you find oh, it, let's carry on. All right, all right. I, uh, I was reading verse eight. It says, after many days thou shalt be visited, in the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword, and is gathered out of many people against the mountain of Israel, which has been always wasted, but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Go ahead. Thou shalt uh, ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Go ahead. Thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Go ahead. Uh, verse 10. Thou said, 
uh, so like it. Thus said the Lord Power, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. So when you deal with that, you go to looking it up. That right there is saying that the Russians not going to agree with America. Okay, matter of fact, look it up. You want to look it up in a different translation? You want to look it up in the blue letter? But I want Jake to see the, the talks that Donald Trump have with Vladimir Putin. When it's all said and done, the way the Heavenly Father got it set up is to where uh, America and Russia is not going to agree. And Vladimir Putin and the Russians is going to be a guard to Iran, man. That particular verse. Yeah, I, I, uh, All right. Yeah. All right, I was just double checking that I pronounced. Uh, you got it. You got it, bro. You got it. It's uh. This is the Bible Hub, Ezekiel chapter thirty-eight, verse ten. I go to the Amplified Bible. Amplified Bible. It says, "Thus saying." Thus says the Lord Power, it will come about. It will come about on that day that that thoughts will come into your mind, and you will de devise an evil plan. See, so they're not going to agree. The Russians is going to be doing their own thing, and America going to want the Russians to follow them, and the Russians going to be like, see it, hell no. Nah. And see, America don't really got nothing to negotiate with. Because they didn't kill the dollar concerning cut Russia off. Right. And Russia, when you look at who got the most resources in the world, Russia got it. And they win the war in Ukraine. Okay? So, the Russians over there have turned Ukraine military personnel which was funded and trained by NATO and just put them in the blender. You see? And Patrick, Patrick was saying some of them, uh, some of them Ukrainian, Ukraine is a yeah, Turk. Yeah, a Turk. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they were, Russia. some of them Ukrainians are fighting with, uh, on Russia's side. You see? Because Russia then put them in the blender and on the other side of that water, they see what a strength is, man. Right? America not as strong as people think, right? And that's why Iran is getting bolder and bolder concerning uh, striking Israel. Because they see that Israel ain't got no defense, man. And everything that Iran been doing concerning defense system and military hardware, rockets and all that type of stuff, it been really to fight America. You see, when you start doing research, but you have to do research, right? And we didn't already done it, that's why we talking like we talking. You see? Military defense system was made to fight against the US. And then you got America, right? I give y'all, I give y'all a nugget, okay? I give y'all a nugget, right? You got the silos in America, and what? does a silo hold? Missiles. Now, when you look at when the silos were built, it was built in 1967. Okay? Silos were built in 1967. It's 2000, and the silos hold uh, the missiles for 30 years before they start breaking down. Okay, three decades before they start breaking down. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? You can have the missiles inside the silos for 30 years before they start breaking down. Okay, and they built them in 67, America. 
It's 2024. You know what I mean? Years that is 57. So the missiles in the silo before they start breaking down, you can have them in there for 30 years. From 1967 to 2024, that's 57 years. <laughs> you see? And that's why Donald Trump saying, look, I, I put money to build up the military. I put, because the personnel, Pentagon already in the study concerning actual people, fighters. The youth, they on drugs. Overweight. Overweight. Mentally, they dysfunctional. Okay? And the women don't know if they want to be women, the men don't know if they want to be men. Right. They both jump and ship concerning their agenda uh, agenda. Right, right, right. You see? So Donald Trump is want to put money into the military hard work because he knows yeah. that it's not as strong as people think. He knows that. And Donald Trump can't save America. You ever took time out to look at the debt clock? It said 35, 35 trillion. All the debt, the whole debt of America is old, is, is uh, 102 trillion. But the national debt is 35 trillion. Okay, what's today's date? Uh, Saturday, November 9th. Saturday, November 9th, 2024. When you look at the debt clock, it says 35 trillion, the national debt. The debt in all, the whole debt of America is a, it's a 102 trillion. You can't fix that, man. And the only way uh, Donald Trump can fix America and start paying off and get America out of debt, he got to zero out the defense. Uh, he got to he got to zero out the military defense. In other words, put no more money into it, and he got to cut social programs that's paid for by the government, and he got to go into heavy austerity, uh, heavy austerity measures. That's why when he come out, that's why we become president, he gonna start by putting tariffs on these nation taxes. You see? And it's gonna cost the American people more to get the products. What? Yeah, it says, read it. Matter of fact, read it. It says, uh, it's 22% higher than the U.S. growth, gross. It says national product as of June 30th, about 27 trillion. It's six times the U.S. debt uh, figured in 2000, 5.6 trillion, paid back interest fee at the rate of one million an hour. 33, 33 trillion would take more than 3,750 years. So it said 33 trillion would take that long to pay back, mm -hmm. right? 33 trillion. Yep. It said 102 trillion. You can't fix that, man. And what the bankers gonna do is say, look, the only way you people gonna be able to pay us back is you gotta put that chip in. Yep. Mark of the beast. They got they gotta go, we want Trump to go digital, merge that with the dollar, and eventually you gotta put that mark of the beast in with the chip, which is gonna bring death and destruction to you if you take it. You nickel like you know today in America. See? Yep. Now, if Donald Trump put tariffs on China. Say for instance, America completely cut out China. China's not gonna fall apart because they gonna lose money, but they not gonna fall apart because China trade goods, they have found another route concerning bricks. Okay, they have found another route concerning bricks. Last year, let me see something. And, oh yeah, about them silos, America, uh, America gets its uranium from Russia. 
If y'all didn't know that out there. If y'all didn't know that, America gets its uranium from Russia. Okay? And then, and then you can look up, you can Google a rush for exemption, uh, Russia uranium. Matter of fact, look it up. A rush, rush for exemption, Russia uranium. Uranium, not Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, 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 brother. Let me say it. Push it. Let me say it. <laughs> A rush for exemption. Exemption. Russian uranium. What come up? Anything come up? That's it, American Supply. Click on that. Read the top of the article. Article is like it. It's uh, it's root rooters. Is that how you pronounce yeah. it? Routers. Rooters. Rudders. Rudders. Okay. It says uh, ban on Russian uranium aimed to revive American supply. So that right there. In that, in the law, when you go into it, when you go deep into it, it depends on what source you're looking, looking at, but that's just one of them, right? It says it applies till January 1st, 2028, but if they need to lift the ban to get Russian uranium, they have to do it. Oh, yeah? You think that's in there too? Oh, no, 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 it's just saying how uh, Biden, June 4th on May 13th, President Joe Biden signed into law the Prohibiting Russian Uranium Imports Act, which bans uranium imports from Russia, a trade worth around one billion annually. You see? So, but it depends on what source you're looking at. It's banned to January 1st, 2028, but if they need to lift the ban to get to Russian uranium, they would do it. Like I said, it depends on what source you're looking at. Okay? So I, I wanted to add that in there too. Okay? Now, going back to uh, if America bans uh, what, what? Exactly what you just said. Matter of fact, matter of fact, show that to them. Just show it to them. They can, they can uh, uh, rush for exemption. It's in the same article that I was reading, just a little further down. Okay, now, say for instance, America banned China, right? Put taxes, put tariffs on China, and they ain't getting no more product. Will that kill China? They'll lose money, but they won't kill it because they got the bricks. It says, uh, it says, uh, in September 2024, China exports 47 billion worth of goods to the United States. Okay, 47 billion goods to the United States. Right? It says China BRICS trade reaches US amount of dollars, right? The 32 billion in 2024. Okay? So with them dealing with America, they they made uh 42 billion, I mean 47 billion. But them dealing with BRICS. But them dealing with bricks, right? They made 32 trillion. I mean 32. 32 billion with a B. Okay? They made dealing with bricks. And 47 billion with a B dealing with America. 
the Senate trade. So would China economy totally sink? Nah. Now, and all the tariffs, man, all they're going to do is fall on the people here in the United States. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. Right? Yeah. So, I uh, brought y'all that information. So Donald Trump can't say it, man. It's in bad shape, man. It's in bad shape. And all these things that's going on was not happening when Donald Trump was in office. Right. These wars and things like that, man. And the way the economy is, man. That Joe Biden and Kamala Harris had four years to screw it up real good to make it worse. Right. right. Okay? So where we at? In the scriptures. I know you had me look of the different translations for uh, Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 10. But did you look it up in the blue letter? Negative. Okay, look it up in the blue letter concerning the evil thought. It says Strong's H7451. That second entry, Ra. Third entry, Ra. Ah. So it says bad, evil, bad, disagreeable. What? 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 Disagreeable. Disagreeable. So the Russians are not going to agree with America. Okay? That's why I had the brother look it up in the room that that's in there. They're not going to agree with America. Man. Like you think. Hoping Donald Trump will solve these things. One day. <laughs> Hoping government officials can solve, you know, America's problems, man. It's not going to work, man. The Heavenly Father and the Son got a plan, man. And it's to bring down America and take Esau Edom out of power, man. You see? And deliver the elect of the nation of Israel and the earth be ruled in righteousness. Up under the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the separate spirit with the statute laws and commandments and the elect of the nation of Israel, man. You see? So, that's it on that right there. You can give them the definition and where you looked it up at and all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what I want to get is uh, one more before we close out. And uh, give me Proverbs 3 and 5. Proverbs. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. One more time for me. It says Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, with all thine heart. So, how do you trust in Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, with all thy heart, meaning your mind? You have to get in these scriptures and follow these scriptures. What they're saying in the world can be confusing. But the Heavenly Father and His Son 
gonna guide you the right way. And if you sincere and trust in the Heavenly Father and Son, He gonna open your eyes and show you the path that He gonna take according to the Bible. Not what the world is saying, because they're in a confused state. Right. There's a lot of confusion out there. Okay, go ahead. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Because the mass of these people is giving you opinions on what they think. Right. You see? Yep. That's all it is. Not the plans of Yahweh Bashim al They basically have pushed him. They basically pushed the Heavenly Father and the Son out the way when it comes to the plans that take place on earth. Hey, right. you trust in Yahweh Bashim al and lean not unto your own understanding, man. That's what it is, man. Go ahead. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and all, and he shall direct thy paths. That's right, man. So we're gonna face each. Mawafla Babylon. Mawafla Babylon. Mawafla Babylon. Mawafla Babylon. And Mawafla two-thirds Shalom stay song. Search the scriptures and pray for deliverance.